Hey everybody, welcome to uh, We Say the Same Points About Naruto for the 80th time. I'm Asperger. Uh, but, but Boruto in the anime, like, fucking hates his dad to the point that he will not let Naruto teach him anything and chooses Sasuke. Boruto goes to Sasuke? Boruto is... Boruto is a student of Sasuke. That's kind of cool. <laughs> but then Sasuke just, like, completely disregards his daughter. Well, once again, the thing that Naruto loves cucks him for Sasuke. It's yeah. like poetry, it rhymes. Yeah. Give me that egg. Now, I, I think I get a Spark's power from this, but I, I don't know if it's the one that makes him point at the gems for me. It'd be nice if it was, but it's probably, like, some bullshit. Like, you can pick up gems from farther away now. Oh, here's a good question. Would you ever reboot Isma with Asperger instead of Digibreath? No. Why not? Because you're the least reliable person I've ever worked with in my entire oh. life. If I was in school and we were doing, like, if, if we were forced to do a group project together, I would fucking just drop out of the class. Because <laughs> you will not do anything ever, on time, or at all. The Monkey Cop song, I had to give up on after five weeks of asking for it. So if we were doing, like, a, a podcast weekly, there's no fucking way. He'd probably get drunk on the day that we're supposed to do it or some stupid shit. Shameful. Are you, are you sad that you read that question now? You were so excited, and now I hit you in the face with a cold, hard slap of reality, you fucking loser. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, if Berger makes one song a month and keeps up to date with his Nuzlocke, I'll, I'll do any podcast that he wants with him. There you go. AKA, it's never gonna fucking happen. What's one thing you hate more than anything? You can't say life or each other. Ah, uh, damn it! I was gonna say you. <laughs> God damn it! They can uh, they can read us like a book. One thing I hate more than anything. Well, I hate it when people donate money to millionaires. But I'm sure we've got a million comments telling us how we're like jealous faggots because yeah. we don't want Elon <laughs> Musk to start a fucking Patreon. <laughs> what? What do you mean? If Warren Buffett wants to start a Patreon, we should be able to donate all we want to him. Uh, he works hard playing fucking Fortnite. My father gave me a, a small Patreon pledge of a million dollars. Yeah, where's Do it's like, <laughs> like when Donald Trump was accepting campaign donations, I was like, really? No, he didn't take any. Yes, he did. I thought he was. I thought it was all self-funded. No, it wasn't. Huh. No, you can donate on his website still to this day. Sweet. Yeah, it's like, come on. Like, really, he's gonna help middle America by having, like, he does he's a billionaire. He says it every day, every speech he says how rich he is. Why, why do you need to donate to his campaign? CNN's giving him free advertising every second of the day. He doesn't need your money. He would, he, yeah, he barely paid, he barely, that was like one of the cheapest presidential elections ever. Oh yeah, for him, Hillary for spent him. like 20 yeah, times Hillary, more than Hillary him. fucking, was sucking, so much Wall Street dick to get money and shit. Yeah. And all for nothing. She gets paid like $2 million to give a speech, and then retards are still donating money to her. But that's, I think that's uh, still more, uh, it makes more sense to support like a political campaign than to, oh, you just made $10 million last month playing a video game? Here's another hundred. <laughs> wow. Great use of your money. Uh, well, but I, I shouldn't really care about what other people do with their money, though. It well, just I mean, me. one of the things I hate the most is is po politic polit blah, 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 blah. speaking English. One of the uh, <laughs> things I hate the most is politically uh, related. It's people like Erich, uh -oh. who who have who, who can't fathom yeah, being who wrong. have an opinion, have a political opinion, have reasons for that, can can give you reasons, but the moment they hear something that isn't that. <laughs> they lose their fucking minds, and there is no, and, like, the Republican Party is just evil. It doesn't matter. Yeah. There is no argument that the Republican Party and Donald Trump is an evil, rapist, mastermind, Hitler 2.0 uh, fucking villain. Can, for a brief moment, can we talk about the Nazi comparison? Because we get that, I mean, like, Trump gets that shit every day, right? Um... So there was a, uh, an article posted the other day I saw that uh, trust and um, uh, favorability for Trump went down in every single country in the world except for one. Guess which one? Germany? No. <laughs> Israel. <laughs> You're telling me Hitler 2.0 is, is praised and loved by Israel? Take a fucking history lesson, you stupid fucking retards! What the fuck do you think that That's means? A good point. That's a good point. Are you fucking I retarded? I, one of the you most think that Hitler 2.0 is praised by Israel? One of the, you fucking idiots! Hitler 2.0 donated more 
up the the amount of money that we give to Israel every year. You're fucking <laughs> by idiots. a couple billion You're so dollars. You're fucking stupid. <laughs> they don't even know. That's what I'm saying. Like, they do you just... know who Hitler fucking is? <laughs> is it just exclusively a buzzword for somebody you don't like? Not to you mention, don't know who the fuck it is. Not to mention, we got our third eye opened by a movie. Hitler wanted free health care. <laughs> Hitler wanted free free uh, education. Yeah. It was just for a specific group of people, <laughs> but I don't see Donald Trump saying we're gonna make college free just for white people. Yeah, I don't yeah. even see him get I don't even see him like genociding anybody at this point. It's been too long. He would have started. I've been it already. waiting for the genocide, yeah. hoping that they could prove <laughs> prove what they were saying, but it never happened. <laughs> oh, but he had children in those uh, camps at the border. Oh, yeah, okay, so he expanded on the thing that Obama started. I guess Obama's, uh, yeah. what is Obama Mussolini or some shit to, <laughs> to fucking Trump's Hitler, you fucking retards? I'm so sick of this argument! Yeah, they're, they're, they're saying that Donald's doing so much shit that's shitty when really it was just left over from Obama. Yeah. But if he takes credit, but if he, if the, oh, the fucking it, stock market the, the goes up. The unemployment rate is the lowest it's ever been. Yeah, and but, the stock market's the highest it's ever been. But, th- but, but that was says, Obama. Yeah, that was he Obama. said, no, but that was Obama. He's just taking credit for shit that Obama did. So like, but like we're still blowing people up in the Middle East. Yeah. But no, that's not Trump now. Yeah. The good was Obama, the bad was Trump. And that's not even like, I'm not anti-Obama and pro-Trump. I'm just saying, these are the things that people are saying, and that's what pisses us off. I, I cannot handle... You know, didn't we talk about the douche and the turd, and didn't I t- yeah, tell yeah. you that was on this Let's Play? Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you taught me about uh, my mom, what it means when you tell people to vote. Today, my mom texted me telling asking you to- if I was registered to vote, <laughs> right? And I go, of course, what do you think? And then she goes, it better be Democrat all the way. I'm like, <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you actually going to vote in this state? I, I almost don't want to vote now because my mom pulled that shit. Are you going to vote? Course, of course I'm going to vote. I have no idea who like the senators in the state even are, so I'm not even going to bother. And also, I'm uh, legally a resident of Iowa, so I'm not going to register in this state. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if I could. I, I switched my registration when I got my license. Mm. So, of course I'm going to vote. Well, it's, it's my fucking duty to vote. But... but then it's also your duty to make an educated vote, right? So uh, spill the beans. Tell me. I don't know. I don't care who you're voting for. Just tell me who these people are that are the options and what their policies are. Since you're an educated voter and you're not just b- blindly voting on, on party lines, like your mom wants no, you to. No, I'm, vo- I'm voting for the third party. I don't. I don't. I don't you, know. The you don't even are. know who they no, are. What they represent. I don't even know who they are. I don't even know well, who they are. That's as. I, that's I, as bad as your mom I saying just not, vote Democrat. I am not voting Democrat again. I'm not. Don't, I'm not. Don't not vote along party lines. Vote for what you want to be changed. Yeah, that's why I'm just going to vote but third you party. Don't, but forever. you don't even know what the third party represents. I know what the third party represents. Then tell me. I just asked you and you said you didn't know. Oh, what did they represent? No, I thought you were asking for names. The, 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 whoever you're voting for, tell me specifically what they're going to do. Oh, they're going to fucking lose. <laughs> no, like what their policies are. Oh, free education. How do you know if you haven't researched it? What do you mean? I, I know what the fucking Libertarian Party wants. Yeah, but every single Libertarian's not exactly the same. You should know who you're voting for. Well, I was going to vote Democrat, but the problem is I just moved here. Yeah. I was going to go vote Democrat in my district for, okay. in Florida, but the dude is like, I, I don't like him because his name... Because he has small hands and he's orange. <laughs> He's an Indian man. Oh yeah, you told me about. He's this an guy. Indian man in uh, a red, red, red Florida, and he's facing an incumbent who has been reelected eight times. And his campaign is that I'm going to put money back into the schools in our area. This congressman. Yeah. So Wait, the the incumbent or the new guy? No, the new guy. So it's an Indian man. His last name is Sanjay. First, do you know how many votes you have just lost in Florida? In my county. Yeah. In my you're county. You're not saying you're racist. You're saying it's a yeah. it's a I'm foregone the conclusion fact, that he's not going to win. It, the fact that it says Sanjay versus whatever the fucking like <laughs> the white name that this guy have that they already reelected eight times prior. His name's probably like Senator White. Yeah. It, it literally like it is something like that. It's like fucking <laughs> Johnson. It's like Johnson or something. It's literally Rodriguez. Like a generic white name. Yeah, like Rodriguez. And this maybe. guy is still asking for donation. I'm like Sanjay, your wife has a red dot on her forehead. There is no way you were gonna even come close to winning in this district. 
There is no way. And I think. Right, wait, 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 wait. Just to clarify, you think instead of donating to Sanjay, people should donate to Ninja? No, I'm saying like, <laughs> it, just say yes. It's funny. Probably, yeah, because at least you're, you're... At least you get your fucking chat on screen Yeah, at least you get your chat on screen. Hey, I could not Sanjay's think... gonna waste your money! I can't think of a, a, a single reason to donate to Sanjay's campaign. <laughs> no. Because there is no fucking way in the fathomable universe in the, the you, Sanjay, that white name, that fucking... It says John Smith or... I, I, Indram Sanjay, who the fuck is gonna are, win? Are you saying this because your district is 99% old white people? Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. straight Good up luck, Sanjay. It's straight up like there is no. Why did you even race? <laughs> you wanted to waste everybody's what you, time yeah, and money. You were wasting the people's time. That money could have got the money for your campaign could have went to the fucking school itself. And that's another thing. He's running. He's running for the kids. There's no greater way to end a political career by campaigning. On education. Sorry. Okay, what? There's no greater way to end a campaign than by saying, let's think of the children. Uh, because it's like the ge generic thing that everybody yeah. says. Like, nobody gives a like fuck. Every, everybody's thinking of the children. We yeah, just have every, different expectations Americans for them. do not give a fuck about the school system. They don't give a fuck. They, oh, and, no. you know why, and you know why? Because the military? Because you'll have to raise taxes in order to get the funding. The moment you say uh, anything that costs more well, money. I mean, you don't have to raise taxes. You could just, I guess, like, you know, take a drop out of the bucket of the military budget. And yeah, then okay. every, every school in the nation will suddenly be like a five-star private school if you do that. If you just take, like, half of 1% from the military budget and put it in education. Oh, my God, we have so much. Ev every we, we school be would be, like, serving filet mignon for lunch and shit. They, Michael Moore just released his documentary. But did you go see it? Have you seen the latest Michael? Yeah, Ward yeah, yeah. Fahrenheit uh, eleven nine. Yeah, I went and saw it. The the one where he goes to Europe and shows off the school. No, Fahrenheit eleven nine, the one that just came out like two months ago. You didn't see that one. What happens in this one? It's a, it's a, well eleven nine is the day that Trump got elected, so it's all about the Trump administration and shit. Oh no! So but then... it's like eighty percent of it's about the Flint water crisis, and then he blames Trump for that, which doesn't make any fucking oh, sense okay. because that was. Like I, in, in like of, 2014, so, so I, I don't know what the fuck he was the thinking. The second to last one that just came out. I thought that was Trumpland, where he just gives a speech. What's the name of it? I don't know. Okay. Maybe it wasn't even Michael Moore talking. No, it was Michael Moore because I remember thinking like, wow, this guy looks, this guy looks bad. <laughs> do you do you like Michael Moore documentaries? I liked this one. Yeah, I actually kind of like him. Like even when I don't agree with it, I think he's funny and I think it's presented in an entertaining yeah, he's great, way. But it was it was. It's, it was I need exactly to watch the that. Columbine one because evidently, you know, like it's, I haven't seen it It's regarded as one of the greatest of yeah. all times. And it actually has a, a, a great pretty good ending. message. Yeah, like, no, they actually do something. I don't want, do you want it spoiled or? Uh, sure, I don't care. It's a they, fucking documentary. In, in the documentary, one of the victims of Columbine, he gets him. He's in a wheelchair. He got shot, right? Yeah. So he's in a wheelchair. He rides into a Kmart and goes to the employee and says, in Columbine, and says, this kid got shot by weapons bought here. Why are you still selling weapons, Kmart? <laughs> right? And Kmart okay. actually, after that, after that they shit stopped storm, selling them? they actually stopped selling guns. Kmart said, you know what? We, we're not going to condone this anymore. Uh, well, it's, I, it's I, I, I don't agree with that, but uh, I, I guess that's like a, a fun thing to do in your like, yeah. liberal dark documentary. But I, I don't agree with that Kmart shouldn't be able to sell guns. No, but like, like, it's I not mean, Kmart's but fault that Columbine it's more happened. Just like, it's more just like, wow, that worked? <laughs> Oh well, yeah, when you shame people and, and say that you killed our kids, yeah, I guess uh, sometimes it'll no, work. No, like Kmart as a whole, the whole company. Yeah, they were publicly shamed and blamed for killing kids when they didn't pull the fucking trigger. <laughs> but you know what? That's fine. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. I don't care. There's plenty of other places to buy guns. Like, yeah, don't... <laughs> Nobody even shops at Kmart in the first place. So who cares? This is great. No, but he, he did this doc documentary where he, um, he, he, he keeps... Uh, He's going around European nations and he's claiming he's he's trying to see how to fix America. And so he keeps doing the American way and then putting his flag on like <laughs> he like brings the flag. He's like, can I can I uh, can I conquer this idea for you? <laughs> he interviews people and like they um, there's a scene where he, he talks about the food in Norway or Sweden. Right. And he goes, 
He goes, you know, I went to a restaurant here that served about like four star food and all this place, and it was actually pretty good, very uh, really good food and all this shit. And he's like, be, he's sounding like a pretentious dick. And my dad even said, what a pretentious dick, right? All of us were just like, what the fuck is this guy talking about now? What, 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 what's gonna come out of your ass now, Michael Moore? <laughs> and the fucking, and he's he's showing off all this good food, and then it just zooms out. He's in a fucking school cafeteria, oh, man. and they are serving like pasta aliolis and like fucking uh, uh, um, fillet of fillet of haddock and shit, and, like all this shit, and like no sodas are allowed. It's all like actual well balanced. Like there were, there is like a real fucking chef back there, and Michael Morris is like, "Have you ever sold a hamburger?" He's like, "No, I would never make a hamburger." Well, like, sometimes like, you gotta have a hamburger. Well, that's what I'm saying, but like, no. let's continue next no, episode. He's saying for the kids. Shut up.